Welcome everybody to a special video. We dropped a big announcement today and along with that announcement, we wanted to do this video where we could review the announcement with you and maybe answer some of the questions in the process. And with that, let's go to General Moore. General Moore, let's talk a little bit about today's announcement. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, hey guys, by the way, uh, happy to be here. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about the economy, uh, where we're headed as, um, as a platform, as a game and uh, taking those next steps into becoming a more fully fledged metaverse. So it's very exciting. Uh, it is all about the economy and uh, basically what's happening is that Upland is, is growing super fast. Um, we are seeing records all the time these days. Uh, in just the past 30 days, players have traded a whopping 330,000 properties for staggering $6.2 million, uh, 6.2 billion upics, and um, also earning $600,000 USD via the NFT USD practice platform. So things are really starting to mature. They're really starting to change. And, um, you know, this means that we really need to start getting ready for meta ventures, right? Um, things are going to start changing quite a bit going forward. And as we enter this new phase of the economy, uh, we're bringing on a whole lot of new economic changes in order to support the new, you know, kind of metaverse economy, if that makes sense. So uh, to sum things up, we're going to be talking about a couple things today, uh, primarily um, how the Upland is basically Eplin, uh, the economy is ent entering a new phase. Um, we're going to be talking about meta ventures, uh, alongside the block explorer shop beta that's going to be starting very soon. And then we're going to talk about a little bit, uh, about what is happening with the economy, all the changes that we're going to be making in order to support our rapid growth. Yeah, it's super exciting. We're growing and, and this is a really big announcement that we're really excited to go through. So let's start with meta ventures. What are meta ventures? What is the block explorer shop and what are some of the features that are coming? Sure. So Meta Ventures is our all-encompassing term for player-owned shops in the metaverse. So uh, players are going to be able to open all kinds of different shops for pretty much every category of NFT in Upland. So this can be block explorers, structure ornaments, outdoor decor, stuff that comes to the NFT portal, and, you know, much more. So uh, that this product is going to greatly expand uh, over the next year. Uh, but we are going to be starting off with just block explorer shops and we are going to have a brief beta period with some players that were pre-selected early on in the year so really long time ago uh, these guys have been waiting for this for a long time so uh, we're gonna we're gonna launch with that and basically what's gonna happen is we're gonna have 10 players who will be able to open um, their block explorer shops inside of upland and they're gonna have a little bit of uh, limitations uh, on what they can do right away but they're gonna be able to list their own block explorers for sale in upix um, in their stores and we'll basically be able to start building their own brand inside of the metaverse, right? So in the very near future, we're going to open things up where they're going to be able to list um, items on behalf of other players, so basically acting as a broker for block explorers in the metaverse. And they're also going to be able to list their items for, uh, for US dollars in the future. So um, those things are on the very immediate roadmap. But for now, we're just starting with listing your own block explorers for Upix. And these shops are also not going to be subject to our venture news model just yet. So a uh, couple uh, was it last month? Last month we announced uh, the venture news model, which basically means that um, all shop owners are going to pay like a variable monthly fee in Upix. Um, obviously, we don't have any uh, way to base to calculate that fee right now, so uh, the Block Explorer beta is not going to include that venture news model just yet. But it will be added, you know, once this thing opens up to everybody. We are going to follow along that path. Yeah, Block Explorer shops and just Meta Ventures in general. Very exciting that we're basically here. Uh, they're yeah. coming and it's, it's a new age. It's a new day for Upland. Now we do have in this announcement, some updates to the Upland economy as well as monetary policy. And the first one is a big one. The first one is Upix transfers. General Moore, will you talk a little bit about Upix transfers? Why are we uh, enabling this? What is it? Uh, and what players can expect to see? Yeah. So, you know, like I said, the arrival of MetaVentures really means that this economy is is maturing uh, quite substantially. And uh, we need to start to take a look at some of our economic concepts to make sure that everything aligns with, with our vision, right? Um, Upix transfers is a big part of this, right? So <clears throat> players are gonna soon be able to actually transfer Upix directly to each other. Uh, we're gonna launch this program as kind of like a three month pilot uh, to ensure that it's being used fairly. And then um, we're gonna open things up a little bit later, but all players who are gonna wanna transfer Upix are gonna need to need uh, need to be KYC'd and each transaction is going to be subject to that 10% community pool fee as with all Upland transactions, you know, 5% on either side of that transaction. So uh, we may add some additional restrictions later to prevent fraudulent activity, uh, but all of this is really aimed at maintaining the health of the economy, right? Um, Upix transfers are really only meant to be uh, in support of in-game activities or Upland related activities. So these are things like Upix payments for Upland related services, 
you know, augmenting in-game trades, if you want to package Upix as a deal with a property or a legit or something like that. Um, community initiatives uh, that could be our community running giveaways, those sorts of things. And of course, gifting, tipping Upix, um, those will all uh, are all what we are trying to support with Upix transfers right now. With Upix transfers now available in the game, the question that I'm sure many people have is, can I now, as a player, sell Upix to other players in the game? Yeah, I mean, we've got we've gotten this question a lot in the past, um, but as we've communicated uh, prior, Upix is meant strictly as a utility token. So this means that we only intend Upix to ever be used to acquire NFTs inside the game, right? Um, at least in terms of purchasing. Um, what we're trying to do is basically strengthen the value of Upix. The point being is that you know we are trying to prepare for the service-based economy that's coming. With MetaVentures on the horizon, uh, players are going to need access to uh, payment methods that are going to support their in-game activities. So if players need graphic design or they need a, a model built or something like that, <clears throat> there needs to be a pathway for that. So that's what we're preparing for here. We're not trying to uh, you know give players additional pathways to undermine the value of Upix. Uh, we want to protect the value of Upix. That's really what our goal is here. All right, so properties earning adjustments. We are getting some adjustments to property earnings. Let's review that real quick. What does that mean for the player? Sure. So, you know, very much in tandem with uh, with the last point, um, you know, Upix is the bedrock of the implant economy, right? It, it really is what powers the entire economy. So, uh, we've always kind of communicated this in the past, uh, and as you know, per the Upland white paper, you guys can go back and review that. Um, you know, property earnings were always meant to come down as the economy matures, right? The the initial program basically being an incentive or a subsidy for players to come in and start buying property in the metaverse and start uh, building it up, right? So we are going to be reducing uh, the earnings payout. So it's been a standard 17.3%, I think, since since launch. Um, and it is going to be coming back down by 15%, and the new rate is going to be 14.7%. So that'll be the new base rate. So <clears throat> these value may be adjusted uh, to ensure the health of the economy. So we're going to we're going to start a quarterly review process that kind of takes a look at how things are going and whether or not an adjustment needs to be made to that uh, earning rate. But for now, we are going to be reducing that down in about a month. So um, we want to give players plenty of heads up because I know that this is a, a pretty drastic change uh, to the economic model of Upland and want to make sure that players have time to adjust. Yeah, and this is all about the health of, of the economy. So it's right. very exciting to see the economy mature. This is a result of that for sure. The next point that was in this announcement that I think is super exciting is the $10,000 NFT to USD cap removal. Matt, let's let's review that. What does this mean for players? It essentially means players can cash out for more. Yeah, exactly. So <clears throat> up until this point, players have been limited to a maximum of $10,000 uh, for USD sales for marketplace transaction. Um, we are going to be removing that cap. Now, that's not going to come without any limitations. Uh, there are going to be a little bit of a caveat, meaning that players are going to have to preload their Upland uh, USD account before making a purchase above 10 k so it just means that you're going to have to basically, it's going to be a little bit premeditated. You're going to have to load your account first and then you complete that transaction later. So it won't be, you won't be able to do it directly uh, for over 10K USD. Yeah, this is huge. I think a lot of players are going to be very excited about. Yeah, I mean, it, it enables kind of a, another step beyond, uh, you know, or another step for the economy, right? Um, you know, removing that cap kind of shows that, uh, you know, players may be willing to pay more than that. And I think that's a big step forward. Yeah, no, absolutely. Well. Along with the theme, the theme today is the economy is maturing and we're we're tightening up some things to make sure that the economy yes. uh, maintains healthy. Along with that is this new collection holding requirements for awards. Yeah, so collections, uh, completing collections is definitely one of the core mechanics of Upland. And, you know, we've we've always allowed for players to mix and match their holdings to kind of boost their yields and, and capitalize on that one-time award. Uh, but with the large influx acti in activity, uh, we wanted to revisit the, these mechanics to, to make sure that there was no way to really abuse them, right? So we are going to be introducing a holding period. Uh, every time you complete a collection, you're basically going to have to hold that collection or hold all those properties in that collection for a fixed amount of time until, um, until you can collect your award. So this should disincentivize kind of the rapid uh, collection swapping uh, to capitalize on those rewards and should eliminate a lot of the abuse of that mechanic. So uh, we're really excited about this change. We think that this is going to just continue to uphold the strength of Upix as a currency and um, you know continue strengthening the economy. And last two things we want to talk about here are the uncollected earnings accumulation cap, as well as the spark locking bonus, which I think players are really going to enjoy. 
absolutely. So uh, on the uncollected earnings accumulation cap, um, so we are going to be placing a cap on uncollected earnings. So this does not mean that we're going to be placing a cap on the overall amount that players are allowed to earn in Upland. More so, we are placing a cap on basically their earnings that go uncollected before they ha before they stop accumulating. So in other words, if the accumulation cap theoretically is 500,000 UPEX, once your uncollected earnings hits 500K, it will stop accruing. Um, the goal is that we want to, you know, reward players that are more engaged because they have a more significant impact on the economy, right? Uh, these players are actively making an effort, actively, you know, having an input on, on what is driving economic activity in Upland, and they, you know, basically should be rewarded as such. So uh, this isn't supposed to be a punishment or anything on anybody. Um, it's just basically a mechanism for us to, to make sure that the most engaged players always have access to their full earnings potential. So just to recap, I can, there's no cap on how much I can earn. I just have to Correct. log in more regularly in order to collect those earnings. Right, exactly. All right, so let's talk Spark login bonus. I think a lot of players are going to be really excited about this. Yeah, definitely. So, um, you know, Spark went live back in June, and um, it's it's quickly become a, a really vital resource for the development of the metaverse, right? It, it powers all of our in-game building mechanics, and eventually is going to power a bunch of other construction mechanics uh, for other items in the metaverse. So uh, what we're going to be doing is basically giving players a spark bonus uh, if they log in consecutively for seven days. Um, obviously, whatever that bonus is, it's going to be variable, and it's going to be subject to adjustments based on the you know supply and demand of spark. But basically, this is uh, we're trying to create new ways to inject spark into the economy uh, without overinflating it. Uh, rapidly, and we want to make sure that we're also rewarding our most active participants of the metaverse. You know, similar to what we're talking about with the uncollecting earnings accumulation cap. Um, you know, the players that are more active are, are driving economic activity, and they should be rewarded as such. So uh, we're going to add basically Spark as an additional reward incentive uh, on top of that. That goes over everybody. Uh today's announcement it's a big announcement thank you everybody uh this signifies a maturing of the economy and it's very very exciting thank you for joining us general mort thank you for being here absolutely uh, i'm very excited about this announcement i think this is one of our our most exciting updates that we've had this year um just kind of really painting our vision for for a thriving metaverse um and and getting players to understand how we're looking at the development of upland and you know what our trajectory is so very much looking forward to uh getting the block block explorer beta shops uh going live i think that's going to be really exciting and you know hopefully early on in 2022 meta ventures uh basically being available for all yeah super exciting again check out the the full blog post link is in the description below like and subscribe to this video and we'll see you guys next time thanks guys